Even if you are a white woman who is voting for Kamala Harris, that's not enough. You we have to be persuading the white women in our lives. To learn from white women uh, if we should vote for Kamala Harris. Take it away, white women. Hey, where are the white women at? Organizer of white women, answer the call. <laughs> Jenny, what do you want to say? What do you want to say specifically to white women in Oakland County, white women throughout the United States about this moment? Teach us. Answering the call. <gasps> Did you see that? Oh, I love when people do that. Oh, I love it when they bat their eyes like, oh, hold on, I'm going to say something very important. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm speaking. And when I'm speaking, I'm going to say something profound and epic. Let me bat my eyes. Oh. She's like an angel. All right, take it away. Take it away, white woman. The call. Even if you are a white woman who is voting for Kamala Harris, that's not enough. You have to get off the sidelines and do the work like black women <gasps> and black men have been doing for decades. And what? <laughs> what? Black men and black women have been doing for decades. What are you talking about? <laughs> get off the sidelines, white women. Get off the sidelines. Doing for decades and follow the lead of people like Joe Tega Edie, whose lead we followed on our call. We have to be waking up. Joe Tega Edie. I love when people just like name drop stuff. I just want everyone to know I know who Joe Tega Edie is. Who's Joe Tega Edie? A very prominent figure that you should know. I'm a very prominent figure. I'm Joe Tega Iggy. <laughs> Joe Tega Iggy. Up every day and phone banking and knocking doors and sending texts. But most important, we have to be persuading the white women in our lives. We may be oh. part of the 47%, but we know the 53%. There are mothers and we our sisters them. and our friends, and we have to tell them. <laughs> yes, 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 white woman. You go, girl. You can do it, girl. I love that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The way you white women talk about voting for Kamala Harris and doing the work, that sounds good. Amen, sister. Amen. All right, keep going. I have to tell them to vote not just in their own self-interests, but in all women's best interests. Right. And so... Yes, and all women's. <gasps> there she is, batting her eyes again. I'm speaking. Excuse me, white women. Listen, we need to be doing the work and decentering our whiteness. This is. As a white woman, I'm here talking about voting for a black woman, and we love that. We put race above everything else. It's important to when you vote, remember that you're voting for a woman first and a black woman second. Oh, no, black, black first. Then a w I don't know which one is first today. I'm confused. Which one is better? Excuse me, which one is better? <laughs> God. Well, you be voting for Kamala Harris based on her sex.